All right, so I'm going to start painting this. I'm using the uh, Winsor Newton watercolors. The first color I'm going to start with is, um, I guess, burnt umber. You could use um, any warm browns. Uh, I'm just going to use burnt umber. Okay, and I'm going to just start at the top of her face. Oh, I need a little more. Start at the top of her face. I drag it around. And I'm going to clean my brush. And I usually wipe out the excess water with my finger and just kind of spread this. If you have cheap watercolor paper, you may not be able to do this. So um, make sure you have good watercolor paper. Okay, so I'm gonna wet my brush, get a little bit more, and kind of go around these flowers. It's not going to be too big a deal because I'm going to be gessoing over them. Anyway, the leaf, no, but the flowers, yes. Okay, I'm wetting my brush again. Spreading the paint. And I'm keeping, keeping my brush uh, sort of flat down. That way um, you don't get a hard line when you're spreading your... Or, uh, yeah, spreading your color. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna get a little bit more. And I think I'll come around to her, her nose and the shaded area here. This is the under part of her nose. Come around here. I'm pushing my brush all the way down and sp spreading it. Okay, I'm going to clean my brush, pick up some of that color, and again I'm squeezing the water out and soften the line there. take a little bit, clean my brush, take a little bit more, and I'm going to come around and add some, just a light wash of it onto the other side. Add a little bit more, try not to get too much, no, that's all right. I gotta turn this and wash it out. I'm gonna soften that line a bit. Okay. All right, and I am using a number six uh, paintbrush right now. When I get to smaller details, I'll use a smaller one. I generally don't do this big of a piece. I usually do about half the size. But, so the bigger the piece, usually the bigger the paintbrush. All right, so I cleaned my brush, added a little bit more of the uh, burnt umber. I'm gonna do this side. Okay, rinsed out my brush. I'm pulling the the water out. 
and just uh, kind of spreading that a little bit so there's no lines. Okay, turn that back around. We'll go ahead and do her neck and uh, this this area and come under. Whoop, that's a lot. We'll come under her chin there. And down. I'm going to re wet my brush. I need a little more water. And we're going to thin that out. To add a little more to my brush, go underneath the bird. I'm going to turn this and do around her shirt. I'm just kind of getting this all wet. Let's see. Keep adding a little more. Oh, I got a lot of water on my brush. I'm gonna pull some of that out. Come up and around here. Okay, I'm gonna turn it. I've cleaned out my brush. I'm pulling some of the water up and pushing the color towards the edge. I've added some more to my brush. And you can always go back and adjust things after it's dry. Alright, so that's okay so far. Um, I think I'm going to use my. Well, no, I'm gonna. Uh, <laughs> I'll keep my number six for now. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit. I'll add a little bit. Oh, if I can get some on there. Add a little bit more under her nose. And just pulled some off with my finger. I'm just kind of playing with it a little bit. You can add water and pick some of the color up if you're not liking what you're doing. Just don't rub hard into the paper or it'll start uh, getting gritty and you don't want that. I'm, you know, lightly, lightly painting on here. I'm not pushing hard. You definitely don't want your watercolor paper to be gritty. Or peeled get the little paper peels in there okay so um, uh, maybe I'll do some under the eyes and around the lids okay so I put some on my brush I'm just gonna go under her eye there's something on there okay And drag it down a little bit. All right, and I'll do under the other eye. I 
think I need a little bit more, maybe. It's not getting any on there. Okay. There we go. So we're going to turn it over and do the lids and put a little bit more. It's harder to do it when it's upside down. It's harder to see what exactly you're doing. But i got to do it. Okay. I'm just going to drag some of that color over. And then we'll do the other one. Okay, I'm going to turn back over. And I think I will do a little bit under the lip here. Okay. Oh, shoot. Ears. I always forget those ears. Okay. So we'll go ahead and just kind of color those in. Maybe add a little bit darker and right. Okay. And those probably won't even show once we've uh, painted everything else. But Okay, I'm going to go ahead and let this dry a little bit on her face, and then we'll go to the next color. All right, well, I decided that I think we should give her, or I should give her, um, a little bit of decoration on her shirt. Nothing crazy or anything, but I am... Oh, Just uh, pulling a line down here and coming around, keeping, trying to keep an even amount of space all the way around, and drawing it around. And we may um, add uh, dots or maybe some crisscross lines or something in there. I'm not sure yet. We can do that when we're painting. But I thought it would add a little more to her. She's a little flat, but anyway, so let's see. I'm going to take my number four watercolor. It's a round watercolor brush and start adding some color into her face. I think I will add some uh, Payne's Gray. We'll give her some shading up here. Can you see that? Yeah. There's some shading in there. And along the edges, and I'm just using a tiny bit. some more over here. Okay. You know, put some under her neck.
I'm gonna, oops, sorry. I'm gonna drag that down a little bit. So her neck comes around like this. I'm just gonna shade it out a little bit. Do some on this side. I still want her to have like a Barbie neck. We have the head just pop down there on the <laughs> on the little knob. Okay, come around there. I'll shade that out a little bit. a little more underneath the little bird. You see that? Yeah. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to do some under her eyes. Oh, that's a lot. That's okay. Remember, I'm pulling water off my brush if it's getting to be too much, or if I've got too much color, I can pull it off with my finger. Okay, I'm gonna do the other side. Pulling some off. And if you end up having uh, lines later when it's dry, you can take your clean paintbrush and um, feather out the line so it's not not a hard, not a hard line. If that makes sense. All right, all right, she's looking looking a little better. Uh, let's see. I think I'll do. Some of the actually I think I will take the burnt umber a teeny tiny bit of that and give her some on her eyelid so it's not all white. I'm just not getting any other okay. Nope, still not. <laughs> Oh, now I got more than I wanted. Okay. There we go. Okay. Yeah, uh, let's see. I'm going to let that dry a little bit. I think I'm going to go ahead and give her some cheeks and lips. And I'm going to use, ouch, I think, maybe uh, Windsor, Windsor Red. We'll do some Windsor Red. Okay, so I've got my Number six again. I've wet my brush and put a little bit on the end. I'm going to start at the edge of her face here and keep my brush all the way down so that keeps most of the color here and then spreads it down to nothing there. Okay, add a little more. Oop, that's way more. I'm going to clean my brush. Okay. I'm keeping my brush down, cleaning up my brush, and I'm going to go around and pick up the color on the outside. Okay, I'm going to 
I'll go on this side and do the same thing. Starting at the edge, pulling it in, and clean out my brush, and pick up the excess around the edge so there's no lines. And there may be lines when it dries later. Um, we can fix that. Like you can see, it's starting to get a line there. Okay, so that's good for now. I'm going to take my number four brush and start on her lip. down there to make her bottom lip. Fade it out. Which bottom lip is lighter than the top lip, generally. Okay, so that's good for now. I can adjust it later. And for the eyes, I think I'm going to uh, use the Payne's Gray for her eyes also. And I'll go ahead and do that. I'm just starting on one side, kind of dragging it back. One eye is a little bigger than the other. To adjust that. I'm just picking up color, pulling the color off with my fingers. Okay, then I'm going to take, I think, a little bit of, um, let's see, maybe the, mm, maybe the olive green. Mm. I I think I'm going to I think I'm going to be using the permanent sap green for the leaves on her on her hair so I, I'll just use that on her eyes too. I'm just going to take a little bit of the green. If I did it while this was wet, it would spread. Let's add a little bit of green in there. We uh, I haven't had the pupils yet, so we still have that to do. I'm just putting a little wash over over that. Okay. All right. So I think that's pretty good for the face for now. Maybe we will we'll do her hair. And I'm thinking that maybe we'll give her some blue hair or Payne's gray hair. I kind of like that. So I think we'll go ahead and do that next. Okay, so instead of doing the hair, I decided uh, to do the background. Um, that way we don't uh, get any blue in the background because I'm going to do her hair in, in uh, Payne's gray. It looks blue when it's on there. Um, so we're going to do that first. And uh, I don't have the picture anymore, but what we're going to do is make 
what looks like trees in the background. And we're going to take our, now you don't have to do this, but this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take uh, my number four brush. I've got it uh, wet. I'm going to start a line, zoom in, start a line at the top and kind of drag it down. Let's, let's see if you can see that. I started a line with water, started to drag it down. I'm going to uh, get some of the sepia color. And touch touch the top and I'm going to let it let it fall to the top. Just kind of let it and let it come down. I'm going to add some more water to the top and let it drip down. Add some more water to the top. You can turn a little more. Help it along, just drag it, drag it down. Okay, and then I'll get a little more sepia on my brush and maybe about in the middle here we'll come out a little bit and then let it let it come up to the top. Let it fall. I've only done this one other time. But anyway, it's not too hard. You're just letting the color drip down to the top. You can add more color if you want. Or add more water to the top. I try it a little bit. Just kind of helping it along. And uh, probably good to have a paper towel underneath. Soak up some of that extra. Okay. So we're going to do it again. And uh, we're going to have to start maybe here, depending on where you're. Where your lady's at. Add a little more water. And this is uh, definitely time consuming. I'm not going to talk you through all of this. I'm going to fast forward through it. But basically, you're just making lines. And we can add another branch here. Could add, add a little here. Add another one. Add some water. And when you turn it over, you can see it kind of looks like trees in the background. Okay, so I'm going to finish doing that, and um, I'm going to speed through it, and then we'll go on to hair.
Okay, we'll see how that looks. Not too bad. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and let that dry and then be back in a little bit.